Your background's Moon Knight. That's badass. Damn right. They're, I think they're making that a Netflix show. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> well, hello. Last week, uh, when we ended, um, Justin's character, Crumb, 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 Crumb. Got it, Crumb. <laughs> uh, found hey, out cookie. some some information uh, and then walked away. Yep. Hey, Crumb. Yes? You just went, huh, when you were looking at that sheet of paper there. Yeah, there's some interesting uh, stuff on there. You want to share with the class? Uh, well, the uh, water that you speak of. Comes from that uh, serpent on the wall there. He is a god. Uh, Rathus? Yeah. Oh, we got it right. I'm just staring at that, by the way. He's I'm, from the abyss. You're, you're staring at Totally that. unengaged. Just. Yeah. He's from the abyss. Oh, that's Abyssal not good. region. Is that where you're from? Somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I think it kind of does. Yeah, matter. it sort of matters. I'm not from there, am I? Am I from there? No, no, it was uh, no. <laughs> Shadow, Shadow, something. Shadow Realm. Shadow Realm, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yugi sent you there. Yeah. You lost a card game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm from the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Do you have any trap cards you can unleash? Yeah. Uh, actually. But uh, yeah, so that's a god. So we have a god <sighs> scale? I guess. God hmm. for scale. All right. Are you um, still just staring Probably around? not a good thing. Farina, you with us? Yeah. Okay. I yeah, I know. I did. What? 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 Hey. What? What's did you going hear on? any of this? Or, or what? The uh, abyss and the god serpent fish Giant thing. Fish god. Not that serpent. thing you were just staring abyss. at. Yeah. What about him? Is a god. Probably named Rageous or something. Have you seen it? <laughs> we think that. We Rage have one of its in. scales. Probably. Have you seen it? Fair Water enough. comes in and out of it. Lake sized. What? You haven't seen it. Nope. It's bananas. Oh, you you haven't even seen the scale at all, have no. you? <laughs> so here's the real question. Uh, what do we do with this information? It's a very good question. Uh, hey, Eleanor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I go out of the room so she doesn't have to come into the room. Oh, so nice. Do we know anything about a giant fish god that your husband may have been hunting? <laughs> my, my, well, sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Uh, my husband hunting a fish god. He was ambitious, but I, I don't see him trying to do that. Well, um, hmm. Do we ask about the wizards? Who control the water? I think we already asked about them. Yeah, the elves. We asked well, her no, about we, elves. No, the elves. We talked about the floaty elves. Sorry, Eleanor, one second. We talked about the floaty elves. Oh, no, I mean, just, like just the, don't mind me. I'm it's grieving. okay. Yeah. Um, the actual wizards that control the water around here, like that checkpoint we had to go through, maybe they have something to do with this. Where can Probably. we find them? I mean, kind of everywhere. Yeah, they, they, are, they have pretty regularly spotted like checkpoints. Um, on like on the rivers, so that they can continue to communicate. Uh, there's always like you know a customs officer there. Uh, there's a trade post there, and there's always one wizard that sits there in meditation to be in connection with the um, wizards guild. Sounds like we should go back to the boat. Um, Eleanor, I know that that the commander avoided dealing with the the government that runs the water the the magic users that run the water but do you have any do you know who their leader might be like where we would go to talk to someone in charge oh you yeah you can you can talk to the archmage at the the wizard's college okay is there anything we can do for you before we leave no no i think i'd I think I'm just going to need some time. I mean, maybe, you know, stop by every once in a while. That'd, that'd be nice. Okay. You know, I was, I was just thinking, like, 
is Karath actually smart enough to have like that kind of idea? I keep and then I'm so looked empathetic. Your, I looked at your phone. Your intelligence is higher than mine. That's awesome. <laughs> These characters um, were created by fans. So is um So my, she she so walks back into the, the wash room um and she comes out with the the commander's sword. Uh, she also comes out with your sword. It's, okay. it's polished to a nice matte black. Uh, it's it's darker than it was. <laughs> polished to a matte. Polished to matte. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, I I do a good job. Polished she also hands. So well, there's no shine whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. She hands uh the the sword back to you. Also, she goes. I I mean I, I don't really. I'm not a fighter. I don't have a use for this. Um, and I mean you're the only one that uses. Well. Are you making popcorn back there? It's, it's, don't worry, it's tea. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. It'll be over momentarily. He's brewing potions. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Because it's Halloween. Oh. And it's D&D. Yeah. So, yeah, she hands it you, and she, she's, I mean, you're, you're the only one I know of the group that uses a sword, so you, you would get more use out of it than I would. <clears throat> she doesn't know you. <laughs> Lady, uh, so she, she knows me. Knows also, me. you don't you have a like a great sword? Yeah, but you know. I'm gonna take it. Um, I'm assuming that this is like, what did you say it? Is? Didn't you say it was a scimitar? Yes. So I'm assuming that it's a scimitar made for a human. Yes. It's like a so it's <laughs> big for me. I'm buckling it on my belt. <laughs> it's true. I'm just gonna drag it as I walk away <laughs> past you. That's fine. <laughs> oh wait actually no I was gonna say I forgot before I leave when she says that she doesn't have any use for that I'm gonna pull out a little sn- satchel of cocaine and just put it in her hand and say well you might find use for this God. and then walk away dragging the sword on my belt are you secretly like a dealer <laughs> is that what's going on look man I'm. they call me on the streets They'd call me a pusher. Verena's like the imaginary free drug person the dare cops used to tell you about <laughs> yeah. in yeah. school. See, I don't sell cocaine. <laughs> I hand it. out free samples. And then if people get addicted and need more, then I can point them in the direction <laughs> of dealers from which I collect this is like a whole other subplot. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm a recruiter. This is all still fantasy. Yes, yes. In uh, Chaz's character, Verena does all of the pushing. <laughs> yeah. Specifically in our Dungeons & Dragons game. Look, man, if I was a Coke dealer in real life, I wouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I give Eleanor a quick hug and then follow yeah. after the others. Um, she, she, does, she, she kind of like sets the pile down in a way she doesn't she doesn't partake of it all right oh, she well will. i guess it's time to get back to the boat yeah i'm already on the way back i'm following after them we have to figure out how to get to the wizarding college right yes all right so is there uh, a map on the boat do we have like a fantasy alexa <laughs> yeah. who can tell us where to go like no. a navi who can play no. Despacito? Oh. oh my god! Y'all, y'all do know y'all. Um, you've been to the college before. Um, the rest oh, of y'all no. have not. Um, you may have. No, no, you haven't. Um, you you learned all your your magic stuff in another realm. The shadow realm. Yeah. The shadow spells. Um, so you've been, uh, and the two of y'all know that it's it's at like the center of the world. Um, but y'all, y'all have never been before. Uh, you went, and when you went, you were not, um, you did not go there voluntarily. You were kind of taken there by the wizards when you were found to have, you know, wizard proficiencies and, and magic proficiencies. Um, see, and that was like, this was when you were young. You also then left and became a pirate. So it's been a while. Would we know this about you? Have you shared that with your former uh no military you didn't tell us that. hey magic boy what's up how do we get to the wizarding place uh you follow the river 
Yeah, that's how most of it works in this world. But like, which direction? Um, second, All roads what, what lead was your, to the uh, Wizarding College. What was your pirate name again? John Black. John Black. That's right. Gotcha. He picked an inconspicuous name. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that dude in the comments just was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I can hear John Black. He's like. <laughs> 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 Um, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, oh, no, I remember I was going to comment about the fact that uh, as a youth, you were held in this facility because you had special abilities and then you broke out and became a badass pirate. So you're 11 from Stranger Things. Or kind of Wolverine, too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, All of that. Before I leave the house, can I grab that picture of the god and like roll it up? Or is it actually painted on the wall? It's, it's, it's. Etched on, like on the on the wall, like you would have to take pull the wall down <laughs> and roll it up. <laughs> Are they in planks, or is it like a like fuck? drywall? It's, it's just like so we can show people. You know, yeah, like, no, it, it's wood. The wood, the wood planks. Okay. Can anyone um, draw? I took a selfie before we left. Okay, <laughs> it's probably easier. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, I can't fucking draw. Well, no, that's not true. I have a good deck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll drawing try, would go off the I'll try and draw. So do I. Okay, so you grab a, a small sheet and you're just trying to do a quick uh, drawing. 21. Okay, you... Um, no, 20, I'm sorry. Do a pretty nice sketch. I mean, it's a quick sketch. Uh, 19, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't get like... <laughs> the, you don't get like the scale details, but okay. people can tell it's a scale. Cool. Or, you know, people can tell those scales, but you, know, you don't get the shine or anything like that on it. You mean, you did it in like five minutes. Put, put it down good for five minutes, though. That's not good. Yeah. Right. I look at him. Ah, oh, it scared me because it looks so. Accurate. Speed drawing. Yeah, I'll head to All the right. boat. Let's go. All right, everyone heads to the boat. All right, so we plug Wizarding School into the driver GPS. I'm gonna check the boat one more time just to okay. see if there's any damage I didn't notice before. Okay. Are we still beached? Nice. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll try. It's okay. a seven on investigation. Boat's clean. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try and push sure. it. You're gonna try to push it? Yeah. Uh, give me a strength check. <laughs> Perfect. Nat 20 to <gasps> 24. Yeah, you just you just do it yeah. with one hand. You just kind of <laughs> lean into it and it it's it's often in the water. Then I'll climb up somehow. I jump up and hook my hammer on the edge and pull myself up by the hammer. Okay. Don't make me roll for that, please. <laughs> you you have your thematic climbing yeah, onto the boat. I just thought it was like. cool. Okay. So you, you you know like the vague like you know if you'll head in a direction you'll eventually hit the the wizard's um college. Uh you also know you also remember that you know, around where y'all are y'all did pass by a checkpoint. Uh there's also that that y'all can investigate on. Are we still uh, on the illegal boat? Yes. Yes, absolutely. All righty. Do we still have Beaver Pelt Boys? Uh, I don't. I never did. It was, yeah, on, it was on, on Dan Zox's staff. It was, the on, it was on the end of the dead guy's staff. All right. He's gone. So the we, dead guy? Yeah, I know. That was me out of character. <sighs> Alas, Din Zock is gone. Okay. okay. There, me there we go. Um, so we need to figure out how we're going to get through a checkpoint. I have a suggestion. Are y'all taking off now? Y'all, y'all yeah, we're taking off. Okay, y'all okay, taking off. I feel like that goes to a dark wipe, and then like the next scene is us doing your suggestion, <laughs> just from the way you put it. Yeah, not actually saying what the suggestion... Well, you didn't actually say what the suggestion was last yeah. time, and it worked. It involves some like shit out of Saw. Like, you know, I know what we can do, and it's just like us cutting our arms off. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, y'all uh, continue on the uh, river towards the... Checkpoint. Um, as you're steering, your steering feels sluggish. Um, like it, like the the response is not as pristine as it was and, and clear as it was. I think something's wrong with my rudder. Let me just pull the boat over real quick. I mean, okay. are we going fast? Parallel park this bitch. Yeah, give me give me another uh, piloting, oh, boating check. Oh, that's better. Uh, I forget what fucking thing that is. Is that athletics? He rolled a 15. You are able to pilot and parallel park the boat 
fine. Um, <laughs> I'm just imagining the boat just like... Yeah, I'm imagining a scenario... <laughs> Somehow, I can pull the boat backwards. Yeah. I'm imagining a scenario in which you would have to parallel park a boat. Right. This one. I'm going to hop down off the That's side the of the boat and go check the rudder and see okay. what's on it. Give me an investigation. Uh-huh. Please don't tell me it's Denzok's body. This is my first roll. He's been dragging it around. <laughs> Just no. stuck in the rudder. His shit blew up, dude. Oh, I found whatever's wrong. Nice. Oh. Um, you go and you take a look at the rudder, and uh, you don't the rudder, the part that's sticking out of the water looks mm-hmm. perfectly fine. So you reach your hand in under, mm-hmm. and your uh, your hand hits on hits on a rock. Okay. Um. So you kind of put your head under to check it out. Um, so what must have happened is when y'all beached the boat earlier, mm-hmm. um, the rudder dug into the mud and a rock actually got lodged in, like cut in and got lodged in, uh, on the rudder. Okay. So. Can I punch that bitch off? Yes. Bad rock. Wow. Uh-oh. You break your head. A you ten? punch the rudder instead. You get strength advantage. I do get strength advantage because that's a strength check. You're welcome. <laughs> where, where to go? What is it? I can't see it's it. A, it's it's, it's a less. Three. That's yeah. a nine. So that's ten a, is my. A, a ten is your with advantage. Your total. Okay. Uh, you punch the rock and it, it buds like just a little bit. Oh. It's like embedded in the rudder. Okay. Guys, we have a rock issue. I'll jump down. Okay. <laughs> what kind of rock? <laughs> Not that kind of rock. What listen, seems to be the problem? Listen, lady, I tried. Okay. I don't think you're going to be able to get it. I'm going to reach under and feel around. Yep. Uh, you you feel it there? Ah, oh, there's a rock. going to reach under and feel the stones. Yeah. <laughs> there's a rock jammed in the uh, rudder. I knew that part. I already tried to get it out. It's dug in there. I don't think any mortal person could get it out of there. Oh, I've got uh, 19. You just equip, <laughs> and, it, and it comes loose. I'll just toss it up in the air. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's about like that big. Yeah. Okay. I must have jiggled it loose. Whatever. And then I get back up on the boat. Okay. I mean, you actually did. <laughs> it budged a little yeah. bit when yeah. you hit it. Yeah, yeah, I did jiggle it loose. Yeah, whatever you got to tell yourself, Vegeta. Like, that was a very <laughs> DBZ moment. I don't understand that reference. Wait, are you serious? I don't oh, yeah, that's Dra- right. You I don't, don't, like, Dragon you don't like Dragon Ball Z. That's right. We had, we've had arguments about oh, this. Oh, my God. I just heard keyboards go nuts <laughs> when that... Knowledge came out about me on a YouTube channel. That's gross, oh. dude. I don't think that I want you on the channel anymore. <laughs> okay. That almost got real so, real. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers over, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the, run, the runner's clear. Sweet. I'm going to climb the channel. Climb back on the boat. I don't like you, lady. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to yell here. over. Like, I like her. We're back up on the boat. Um, I glare so you I'll get up, get back on, on, on the wheel and start uh, steering again. Everything's crystal, uh, crystal again. However, in the distance in the direction of the checkpoint, you see smoke. Oh, good. Uh, can I make a perception check? Yeah. yeah. It's a 19. There you go. Yeah, that's better. It's way better. Okay, so from like the distance and direction, and uh, you like act, you're taking a good look at it now. That is not in the direction of the Alp, uh, the checkpoint. You hazard a guess that that's exactly where the checkpoint is. Hmm. It looks like it's on fire. Oh, good. Well, uh, looks like I won't need my suggestion for that checkpoint. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm pretty sure it's on fire. We should go see what's uh, wrong with it. Yeah, everybody steal yourselves. I want to go up and, like, do a jack from Titanic on the front of the boat. Okay. Just because I'm I'm very excited. All right. So Verena is now on the the, uh, bow of the ship, arms outstretched. Just like dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun as we approach the flames. Um, I'm just steadying myself with my hammer. Ready Do we see to go. anybody like on shore? Like so, uh, yeah, as, as y'all are, uh, as y'all are start coming around the bend to where the checkpoint is, you actually st- you hear uh, the sound of fighting. That's oh, sweet. As you continue uh, around the bend, the, the checkpoint comes into uh, 
uh, interview. The doc is on fire. Um, the wizard that's sitting there meditating is, is no longer meditating um, because you have to have a head to meditate. <laughs> Usually. Usually. Makes sense. And you, you, you hear the screams of, of help as a, uh, a man runs out. He, he has a sword in his, uh, in his hand, and he's, he's running out towards the dog. He sees you on the boat, and he's trying to flag you down to help. And as he is waving back and forth, a spear comes through, hit the, like, through his back. Um, and you see the spear came, like you look, look on the top of that, uh, the trade outpost, and there is a uh, man on the top of the outpost. He looks at being like kind of loose fitting um, garb, like loose fitting cloth garments. Um, he has a uh, sash around his waist, and on, uh, on which are like you know bits of rope. Um, he has on his left hook a scimitar, and in is uh next one he is picking up for another javelin. Um if you would like you can give me a perception check on him. Eleven. Eleven? Uh, okay. So from your your many days out in the high seas, this man looks like he is set like that he's been on a ship for a bit. He's got I mean he's got rope attached like to him. He looks very familiar in how to use it. The f- loose fitting garments are um you know, indicative of someone that is kind of ready to need to swim at any point. Uh, and as you see him, uh, more people are running out of the uh, trade outpost. And like, it looked like in mid-combat with more men that you know, are, are dressed relatively like the, the man on top of the, the trade outpost is. But I don't recognize him, recognize him. You do not. Okay. Do they look like they're killing indiscriminately, or does it look like they're just going after like the people that work for the wizards? Uh, they, they, it looks like they're killing everyone right there. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we got ourselves a pirate problem. Seems that way. Um, real thought. Which, which ones are the bad guys? The ones with the ropes and the swords. Okay. The red sashes. Got it. Okay. So y'all, y'all are coming up to... The outpost, and you are free to dock, or whatever you would like to do. Yeah, I'm going to throw it into park. Okay. <laughs> okay, we so got all, the all, of, uh, all of my beige dice, those are the pirates. Uh, this is the pirate on top of the outpost, and then there are six more uh, outside the outpost, currently um, in the middle of fighting like other uh, outpost workers and guards. And then the table's water? Yeah, the, the actual table. Y'all, y'all are coming from this way, okay. yes. So where are we docking? About oh, here. You just yeah. said that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, the words were in the air. <laughs> I keep writing... I keep writing Denzog for you still. <laughs> oh, yeah, more I like, miss Denzog. Yeah, more like Deadzog. He was hey. little and didn't know how to make coffee and hated beavers. All right, uh, roll initiatives, guys. Uh, oh. hold, hold them and I'll, I'll call for them when, when I need them. Oh, shit. Whoa. And it was a 19. That's sweet, dude. I got that on camera. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow. Oh, Chaz knocks it off. I don't <laughs> care. It was a 19 and I got it on camera. That was probably the best D&D achievement I've ever had. <laughs> nice. You mean it wasn't uh, that and taming everything, a dragon? <laughs> that and everything Bork did up to and including taming a dragon. One of these days we're going to put a video out where we tell stories I, and I'm going to talk for to an do hour I want about to do Bork. That. No, I was thinking about that. I was thinking we might be able to do it as a blog. And just us telling our own cool D&D that stories. As okay. a vlog, you mean, where we have like the overproduced background that's supposed yeah. to look like our loft? Okay. 13. 13? 13? 19. 19. No. Wait, I'm going to wish your dex. What about your dex, man? Sex A? 16. 16. Got to make sure you want tying. 14. 14. So our initiative order is going to be uh, Karath. Yeah. Pirate number four. Boom. Pirate number six. Pirate number three. Pirate number five. 
Sex A, Crom, Farina, and then part number seven, the boat, huh? part number two, part number one. Dex. You, you stormed off the boat and checked on the wizard. <laughs> Great. Um, All right, you're up first, though, Karath. Uh, is, it, is it okay if I take the action as we pull the boat up to rage? Yes. Okay, awesome. So I enter rage and do all that fun stuff. Where's my tea bucket? And then I run at... Uh, as, as you'll get there, they have all... It, it's, it's kind of uncanny. They have all simultaneously done their last, like, slice on uh, all the, the men that they were fighting. Creepy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to run over to Mr. Ten Sides over here. Okay. And uh, swing my shite at him. Twice since I'm raging right now. Two-handed, my war hammer. Bust him in the face with a... Bust around. Good old CC. No, nope. No. Missed that first one. Less than 11 hits their AC. I feel like these guys might be a little bit stronger than that. How about a 12? Nope. So, um, and they, like these, I'm pirates, so mad. Yeah, these pirates do like they look like they've been battling for a bit. Uh, some of them uh, have like singed clothes because I mean the the trade outposts start to to erupt on fire. Also, mm. the man on the top is standing basically in the fire, oh. um, laughing like mad. The one that <laughs> you just um, attacked, he has a. Um, like a cut, like across his, like all across his cheek, mm-hmm. and uh, some of the blood has like actually dribbled in his mouth. And as you come and swing both times on him, he laughs at you and then sprays blood on your face. Oh, I'm gonna end this guy. <laughs> they don't have glowing blue eyes or anything, do they? No, they do Thank not. Goodness. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, up next is the pirate on the top. Um, he is. Who is this? Me. Farina. Okay. Me. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Who is it, guys? <laughs> I think it's Farina. Somebody, you got uh, whoever it is. You better admit it. Um, God damn it! Great. He didn't do enough damage to his liking. Um, he goes to throw a spear at you. Uh. You see it coming, and as as he's like kind of aiming towards you, you take take like a little step to the side, and uh, he's still like honed in on you. Throws, and it goes straight through uh, the chest of Pirate One. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Did it kill Pirate One? Yep, it goes straight through his chest. Sweet. Yeah, bro. Let's call up real quick. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nimble, son. He kind of he kind of cackles, laughing. Oh, so he's just insane. <laughs> I like him. Seems that way. This part's he, gonna come up. He's uh, he's elevated this one. Yeah, he is on top of the, the outpost. Okay. This pirate comes charging at you, uh, laughing as well, and goes to swing, and his uh, scimitar goes swings by your face and then go straight into the ground the handle's like sticking up awesome are these pirates us yeah they're, they're, they're playing like us from like a different... i just glare at him yeah all right so he's not holding on to it anymore neat all right he's coming coming to swing on you verena oh bring it What's your AC? 16. All right. Uh, you're not wearing like any... Are you wearing any armor? Yes. Okay. No, I don't. I'm you, not. Don't have, you don't have armor? No, no, no. I'm not wearing armor. Okay, so he comes for like a cleaving, like to cleave your head, and you duck underneath it as it comes straight up. If yeah. you had hair, it would have cut your ponytail off. Oh, nice. Short cropped, short nails like Fight Club, man. Are you right there? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. This pink is you, right? Yeah. Okay. Purple, but yeah. 
So he, uh, this pirate is going to uh, come flying at you, and he is gunned in like straight for your chest. He comes swing in, slices, and it is a good cut straight across your chest, uh, and you'll take 10 points of damage. Oh, okay. That's fine. Ooh. Uh, sex A, you're up. All right. So a 30-foot cone would reach 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And it's a, and it's a cone also. Yeah. So, like to so it would go, there. like, out this way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cast Oh, you're fear. there? Yeah, he's, he's right here. That'll hit me, too. How wide is it? This chair just got even creakier. I'm, I'm no, full of right now. It pointing it this way. You're going this way? So a cone every, I think it's every like two, expands out. Oh, okay. So it would hit like that area. So it would so it basically hit these three? Um, and, and you they. said it was what, 30 feet? Yeah. Yeah, so it hit these four. So it would hit, for, it would hit Verena also. That's fine. Yeah, that's cool. All right, yeah. Um, you project a phantasmal image of a creature's worst fears. Each creature in a 30-foot cone must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or drop whatever it is holding and become frightened for the duration. I have advantage against uh, saves against being frightened. Okay. Uh, perfect. Yep, there you go. And it's a wisdom? Yep. So we'll have three. What is the save? Uh, I'll be a 16. Didn't get it. What is Verena's worst fear? Mm. Oh, yeah. Running what is okay. Verena's worst fear? I'm so yeah, interested in running out of work. Yeah. <laughs> Straight white males. Oh, God. Ah. Yeah, I rolled two threes in a oh. row. So, um, so you you are your mind is bombarded with nothing but the image of uh, <laughs> David Carraff naked. It's horrifying. <laughs> uh, and they they drop whatever they're wearing or wielding. Yes, or like they holding. drop anything they're holding. Okay, and that's it. They just drop and, whatever. Yeah, run away. They run away. Okay. Yes. Uh, while frightened by the spell, a creature must take the dash action and move away from me by the safest available route on each of its turns. Unless there is nowhere to move. If the creature ends its turn in a location where it doesn't have line of sight to you, the creature can make a wisdom saving throw. On a successful save, the spell ends for that creature. <laughs> <laughs> so Chaz is just taken off. Yeah, I, um, Wouldn't be the first time. So That's you, true. Yeah, for real, this is in You character. do, like, you know, the all your... Uh, voodoo sorcery the the pirate in front of you as you're doing this looks looks frightened as you're doing it and then you you know shoot out the cone and he just cowers and then and he laughs uh because you know he thought he was just staring death in the face um verena verena screams you had the captain's sword right i dropped that i left it on the boat you like, so oh, okay. I was holding you're, my rapier. You're holding your rapier? Okay. I thought you meant you unbuckled and like you were wielding. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I meant I dropped it on the boat and uh, pulled my rapier. You run and jump in the water. <laughs> um, the pirate on top um, drops this, the, the spear he's about to throw and says, No, no, I, I'm sorry, Captain Black. You don't, no, no, you don't need to cue haul me again. No. And then he starts running. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're very happy to have you along our campaign journey. And uh, just remember that we are going to do this weekly, every Saturday, so you'll be able to see this happen next week and catch up with the campaign.